Hello and welcome to Vegan Cafe 21. Today we are making homemade pizza dough. So let's get started. I have three cups of flour in this bowl. To it, I'm going to add one tablespoon of baking powder. This is not baking soda, this is baking powder. A tablespoon of salt, one tablespoon of sugar, and one teaspoon of red chili powder. This is not a very hot kind of red chili powder. It's the one that gives more color than heat. So now we're going to whisk our dry ingredients together to incorporate everything we added to this flour so far. This is a no must, no fuss kind of pizza dough because we are not using yeast to prepare this dough. It's going to come together very, very quickly and you won't have to wait too long for your dough to rise. To this, I'm going to also drizzle over it about two tablespoons of olive oil and start preparing the dough using our hands. So we started out with a cup and a half of water in this cup and I'm beginning to add water slowly. We don't want to add too much water because it's not possible to take it out if you add too much, but you can always add more if you feel the need as you go along. So it's coming together nicely. It's just very little on the sticky side. It does not have to be tight at all. You wanna make sure it's a soft, pliable dough. There you go. Our dough is all set and we have, I would say two tablespoons of water remaining from a cup and a half that we started out with. All right, now to the bottom of this bowl, I'm gonna add some olive oil just to coat it. And now we will just knead this dough right in the bowl for about 30 seconds or so. Just punch it, push it away, pull it over, push it away, pull it over. Like this. Punch it, pull it over. So you do that for about 30 to 45 seconds and put it in the bowl, cover it with the plate and let it sit for about 15, 20 minutes. Then we'll be ready to roll out our pizza. So here's our dough about 15 minutes later and we are now ready to make our pizza. So let's move over to the tray. Take a large enough tray where you just make your pizza and transfer it in the same thing to the oven so you don't have to lift your pizza many times. So I have a large enough tray in which I'm going to pat my pizza. Liberally sprinkle cornmeal at the base of the tray. It will help your pizza do not stick to it. And using your fingers, just poke it and pull it. You can even do this. If it tears, don't worry. We can repair it using the dough. So there, it's already spreading. It's not going to be any kind of work of art that requires symmetry a certain kind of shape. No, it's up to you. It's your pizza, your dough, do what you want with it. Just keep spreading it with your fingers like this. Get it as thin as you want. I'm going to leave it to that thickness. I think this is good enough. If you feel like it's getting thinner in certain spots, move the dough around. It's not gonna mind. 
it will not get upset believe me just do this do that and there you have it we have stretched our dough into a pizza base now we are going to drizzle it just a little bit with olive oil and I am using homemade basil pesto as my pizza sauce. For the recipe, please visit our YouTube channel for Vegan Cafe 21 and you will see a video for basil pesto. This has basil, spinach, olive oil, garlic, walnuts, salt and pepper, we blended it all together and we had our pesto. It is absolutely dairy free. Vegan pesto, spread it on your pizza like this. Oh, and by the way, you need to also preheat your oven to 500 degrees Fahrenheit. So I would say when you are preparing your dough, you start that process alongside so the oven is nice and screaming hot and waiting for us when we are ready with our pizza. Now we go with our toppings. Whatever veggies you like. I am using red bell peppers, some cauliflower, some green peppers. Make it nice, healthy, colorful. Of course, some red onion, very flavorful. There we go. And can't forget about mushrooms. Here's our loaded pizza. We'll use it all, why not? There. Another drizzle of olive oil over our veggies. A little sprinkle of crushed red pepper flakes up on top more when it comes out and we are ready to take it to the oven okay let's walk our pizza to the oven top shelf and it goes 500 degrees Fahrenheit we'll let it go for about 13 minutes We'll start checking at 13 minutes. If it needs a couple more, we'll let it sit in there for a few extra if needed. So I'll see you when it's done. All right. So our pizza is done. I added two more minutes to it. So initially we started at 13. I added two more minutes. So in 15 minutes, this is how it looks. Here's our beautiful vegan homemade pizza, Nomas Nofas Pizza. So what we are going to do is, I have some vegan Parmesan cheese that I'm going to sprinkle on top. For the recipe, you can visit our YouTube channel and watch a video. I think that looks good. And also I'm gonna sprinkle some pepper flake up on top. There we have it. Let me show you one of the slices to give you a feel for how the crust turned out. This is almost an instant crust. We did not use in any yeast to prepare our dough and it barely sat for 15-20 minutes before we rolled it out and put our toppings on. If you like, you can give it one last drizzle of olive oil and enjoy. For a crisper crust, here are a couple of things you can do differently. One, if you have a pizza stone, you can preheat your pizza stone when you start preheating your oven and let it get hot with the oven and then transfer your pizza onto a pizza stone and bake it that way for 15 minutes at 500 you'll end up with a crisper crust. Or you can choose a cast iron pan if you have one. 
spread your pizza instead of spreading it on a cookie sheet or a baking sheet you can spread it inside a cast iron pan and then transfer that pan into your oven that will result in a deep dish kind of feel and a crisper crust third is you can roll your pizza really really thin so spread it out as much as you can without breaking or tearing the crust and repair it if it does tear it's easy to repair and then top it with your favorite toppings and use your pesto and bake it again for 13 to 15 minutes at 500 and you should be good hope you enjoyed this recipe and i'll see you again soon with more vegan versions of our traditional favorites